Hey, hey, everybody, Z Garcia here. Today I'm taking a look at the latest Medici game from Dr. Ryan Okanitsia. This is Medici the Dice Game. This one plays very much like Medici without the bidding. And this is a roll and write. So you're going to be rolling some dice. You're going to be drafting some, making marks on your little sheet of paper. And then the other players will take one of your leftovers. This continues around the game until you've loaded three ships, you've scored at the end of the game, and you see if you are the winner, okay? So if you know how to play Medici, you almost know how to play this already. It'll take like 60 seconds for you to get up to speed on this one, okay? Let's go ahead and cut to the table. I'm going to assume you don't know how to play Medici. And I'm going to show you how this works, and I'm going to see you on the other side. Here's everything that comes with the game. You've got your pad, quite a large pad, tons of sheets in there, the dice and some pencils, start play marker, little baggie, not quite sure what this is for, I guess you can keep the dice in there. Everybody gets one of these, and you are going to be uh, taking turns, filling in three ships, getting victory points for that, and then ultimately at the end of the game, adding up the totals from all three, in here and whoever has the highest total is going to be the winner if you already know how to play medici the you know uh, 80 percent of how to play this okay so here's how this works i'm going to be using a pen just to mark on here because the pencils are a little hard to see sometimes so just know that they comes with four of those i'm also going to move this out of the way here so let's say i'm the start player i'm going to go uh go ahead and take all the dice and i'm going to roll them and the dice are going to show me a couple of pieces of information, okay? They show you a good. So you've got your spices and your dyes, your grain, etc. So this is grain. And it also has a three on there. Uh, whereas this one here is dye, the blue dye. It's a zero. But the zeros count as two of that type of thing, okay? This is one grain. Uh, and the three is its quality, if you want to think of it that way. And this is two die, okay? But it's a zero worth die. So I'm going to pick up to three of these dice, and I'm going to load them onto my ship. So I'm going to take, uh, let's say, those two, because just because I've been looking at that example. I'm going to write in the values of the dice in here. So for example, three for this one. And then below that, I'm going to have a running total. And then for the next die, it's a zero. And my running total is still three. Okay? And then over here on the side, I'm going to mark the actual goods. This is the worth of the ship up here. These are the goods I've loaded. So it's one grain. And this one being the zero counts as two die. So I cross off two of those. There's also a face which is sort of the counterpart, the opposite of this kind of face, which is this one. This is five gold, so it has a worth of five towards your ship's worth, but it is no good, none of these kinds of good, okay? So once that's done, I think it looks like that. Once I've, once, uh, I've done that, I've taken one, two, or three of these uh, different dice and I've loaded them onto my ship, I remove these, and every other player can then mark one of these. They have to load one of these things onto their ship. And they do not remove it from the pool. So everybody could choose this die. That's okay. The other, you know, two or three players, however many you play with. And then it'll be the next player's turn. So let's say the next player, who I don't have pictured here, rolls this. And they want to take both of these dice. Okay, they take these, they separate them from the pool... And then everybody else, including me, because I'm no longer the active player, is going to take one of those. So I'll take a look here and I'll say, uh, I'm going to load that three grain. So I take a three here, brings my total up to six, and that's another grain there. Now this continues until everybody has fully loaded up their ships. If everybody but one player has finished doing this, then on their next turn they must finish. They just have to keep loading dice until they are done. And then we figure out the score. So, we figure out the total uh, value for the ship. So, let's say my total value at the end is uh, 17. If that is the most, I am going to get a number of victory points based on the number of players, okay? And that's right down here. Let's say I'm playing with four people. 
the richest ship, the most valuable ship, is going to get 30. Next place gets 20, then 10, then 0. So if I have 17, and that's the most, I'm going to get 30 in a four-player game. Again, that's assuming I've got here 17. And then we go through the different kinds of goods, and we see who's got the most of each kind. All right? So let's say uh, we go, you know, spices. I don't have the most. If, if I had the most, I'd get 10 points, and then second place gets 5 points. If, let's say I have neither one of those. I haven't started any of them, so I get nothing for that. Then we check the, the die here, the blue die. I've got two of them. Let's say somebody else got to three. Okay, I get five points for that. Then we check the green. I have two. Let's say that was the most. Fine, I get ten points for that. And then not, none of the other two did I get anything in. At some point, by the way, once you collect enough of these and you pass this threshold here, if you, you, you always get plus ten. And then down here, if you pass that threshold, you get plus twenty when we count this. Now that this is done, I check that I have uh, 15 points there. My total is 45. And then we load another ship. Obviously, again, this would be done. These would all be filled in up here. We load another ship going through the same uh, round structure. We take all the dice, we roll them, we pick some. You load your ship. The ship is larger. The third one and final one is larger still. And then you will score your final score right here, like I said, and figure out who the winner is. This scoring structure is basically the exact same as Medici, but of course you are not bidding on things. You are rolling dice and you are drafting d those uh, dice and their related goods. So there we go. Let's go ahead and go back up top. Let me tell you what I think of this one. There have been a lot of Medici games. I think this is number five. So we've got Medici, Strazi, Medici versus Strazi. We've got Medici the card game, and now Medici the dice game. I don't think I'm missing any. So there you go. There's a lot of them. They're all sort of, you know, they, they use a similar core system with a couple of little twists here and there. The main twists being, in my opinion... What Medici versus Strazi did was a cool twist, where you set a you you grab a bunch of stuff, you set a price on it, and your opponent can either pay you that price, or you buy it yourself. It's been a while, but I think that's how it was. And then the card game I thought was neat. It was push your luck card game. Uh, this one is very no pun intended by the numbers when it comes to what it delivers. So let's go ahead and talk about it. All right. I'm going to start, I'm just going to go through the list here. We're going to start right at the top with the theme. It's super pasted on, of course. Uh, it's always been that way, really. And in this one, it really, really shows. But on the other hand, it's also a roll and ride. So you kind of expect it to be basically an abstract game. That's why it lands somewhere in the middle for me. Yes, it's super not there, okay? Also, who cares? It's a roll and ride. It takes about 25 minutes. You will forget about it immediately. It is perfectly pleasant and perfectly forgettable. Not a big deal. That's not why you're here, I think. Next up, we've got aesthetics. The game is uh, attractively made. I like the the dice. I think they're, they're cool. Artwork is nice. The sheets are good. I think they're a little bit hard to read. They give you a bunch of them, by the way. I think they're a little hard to read with the pencils included. So I recommend you grab a pen, okay? But other than that, everything looks good. It's it's there's not a whole lot of components in there. Uh, next up, the replay value. Uh, it's not great. The game has very little suspense. Okay, and um, you ultimately aren't going to be making any any big giant moves that will keep this game in your mind and, and sort of make that feeling of, man, I can't wait to get Medici the dice game to the table again. Because last time we played, I pulled out this surprise near the end of the game and I just walked away with the win. It was good. It was this great tense game. No, okay? There's no such thing in here. In my opinion, there is very little suspense here, very little tension here. This game is extremely smooth, 
It's just not that replayable. If we assume that replayability has something to do with the game continuing to come back to the table because of interest. Okay? So, no, I don't think it's high. I don't think it's terrible. Precisely because the game is so incredibly smooth. If it was a beast and a, and a bear to get back to the table every time, then it would be a bad replayability. It's just not good. It's not that. It's going to be the exact same thing next time you play. Uh, the game arc. It's a very quick playing game, like I said, but there are really no, it's, there's no highs and lows here, okay? This is going to be a, a low tension, quick playing game. So if you only have 25 minutes, you want to play something a little bit mathy, a little, you know, roll and write with some drafting. Yeah, yeah, this will do that job. It's, um, I don't, I wouldn't call that a great game arc, though, you know what I mean? So, okay, ease of play. It's high. That that one's high because the game is so smooth. Like I said, Reiner Knizia has made uh, some version of this system now five times. By now, this is like a stone in a river for a couple thousand years. I mean, it is smooth, you know. there are, There is nothing here that is going to jut out at you and catch you off guard. Especially if you've played Medici. This is Medici, okay? With just You just roll and draft the stuff instead of bidding for it. That's it. Um, yeah, it's easy. It's easy to play. Lastly, tactics, luck, strategy. There's a little bit of each. Uh, I do worry that there's a, perhaps a little more illusion of control here at the end of the day than actual control. But I don't know. The game, I would say, is better with more, so that you're scoring, so that the scoring sort of uh, range of scores is, is showing a little bit more, right? If it's just a couple of players, it won't be as interesting, I don't think. So you, you want the full complement of four. It would be nice if it actually played five, but it does not play five. Um... And the game is, like I said, you're going to have a couple... You, you have the luck of the dice, especially towards the end of loading a ship. The luck of the dice could hurt you for points. It could. You just could not roll what you wanted. There's also the tactics of, ooh, so-and-so is close to having quite a high total on their ship. I'm not nearly there, so I'm not going to take that five. I'm not going to chase them down. I'm just going to switch tactics and go for collecting, um, I don't know, spices or whatever. By the way, the goods that the dice represent, they're not even listed in the rule book, except for in the examples. I had to read the italicized text for the examples to figure out what this stuff was. I was trying to be thematic while I played. Maybe that was my mistake. But they're, they, they don't even list them at the beginning. Like, at the beginning of the rule book, they're not even like, you're loading... You know, uh, what is it, uh, cloth, grain, fur, they're like, they're not, you know, they don't list those things. I had to dig into the examples that I wasn't reading because I didn't need to, to figure out what this stuff was. Come on, theme, come on, try. You know, you gotta give me a little, like, pretend you care about the theme. Anyway, like I said, and then strategy, you can be like, well, I'll try to run furs all the way up and get points that way. But... This game, at the end of the day, is smooth. It's easy to play. If you are a big fan of Medici and you don't always have the time to play it, I think you're going to like this. Because it's very close to that. I don't like it as much as I like the card game. I thought the card game was mechanically a little different. You had this push-your-luck thing with the cards. You'd flip them over and be like, uh, is the next one, am I settling or is the next one going to be better? In this one, you roll a handful of dice, and you can see them all five, and you're like, no, I'll take that. Or I'll take these two, or I'll take these three. That's it, okay? You can slow play that, you can load your ship slowly, or not. That's about it, as far as that cadence goes. So, I would recommend the card game first. But if you're a huge fan of Medici, and you're thinking, a roll and write Medici sounds good, then hey, this is a roll and write Medici. There are no surprises here for you. This is what you are getting. Medici, roll and write. Okay? So, I think that should be enough of a clarification for you to know if this is something you want or not. 
Everything being the same, I recommend the card game a little bit more. But this is fine. It works. It's so incredibly smooth. It is. This is a well-oiled little machine. It's just not a very exciting machine, you know? So, my bottom line is, this gets a 6 out of 10. Which is, okay, a little bit above average. It's something that's going to have its fans. People out there will enjoy it. Just don't expect drama and suspense and uh, anything that's going to keep you necessarily, you know, hooked onto what's got going on on the table. That's, that's what I think of it. So, Medici, the dice game. That's it for this one. My name is Z Garcia. I'm going to see you on the next one.